uh, is to provide these fine folks who are the Academy members, the first inaugural Academy, is to provide them with an experience to understand several things. How design thinking actually is applied within a large organization. Uh, and I know Sean is going to do some case study uh, demonstrations well, that will show you how it's used to create some products. But also, um, I don't think this will surprise you. You just, for one reason, you know it's weird coming from me. I think Steelcase knows more about the educational environment and collaborative space than any other of the furniture companies around. So what is design thinking? Is it a problem-solving methodology? Would you say that's true? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, is it an innovation methodology? Sports innovation? My experience, both are true. Um, but in my experience, what's, what's, what's the secret sauce of, it, of, of design thinking is it's an incredibly uh, effective problem-finding methodology. Are you guys in your work? Are you doing a lot of observations and user studies and interviews and things like that? Um, to me, that's that's the core because um, you know there's a lot of companies that have developed some interesting products. There's a lot of companies that have developed products that might be technically really great, but aren't great for the user. Maybe don't have a great user interface or don't solve important problems for users or businesses. And, and in, so that's where problem finding comes in, in my experience. The first step is finding problems worth solving, problems that are important you know, to the users and to the customers. And that's where the innovation starts. And then we need to solve the problems related to you know, those, those problems you've identified. But to me, this is the core. And this is, this is where empathy really comes in. The company are not looking for design thinker. You know, it's very rare. We, ha we, we have sometimes, but it's very rare that I, as an HR, the leadership comes and say, I would like you to recruit for me a design thinker. I can tell you it's very rare. Uh, it's, but they tell me, I would like the marketing guys with a design thinking background. So because the du dual expertise is so important because the ideation exists only, the innovation exists only if it's working next after, and you need to build the infrastructure to make the innovation working. So that's why it's important. So the first thing I would say, keep in mind that the company are not recruiting a design thinker. They are recruiting someone with an expertise plus a design thinking and before about talking about te techniques, it's a mindset. So if you think about all the things you learn uh, uh, through design thinking, and it's part of who you are, you might be able to demonstrate this ability to be empathic. You need to be able to demonstrate this ability to be collaborative. You need to demonstrate your ability to accept risk and change. You need to accept this to demonstrate, you need to be able to demonstrate through the interview that in, in reality you are not learning, you are growing. How do you, I guess, how does Steelcase deal with failure differently within the company as opposed to failing like on your own? In fact, we put a lot of attention to the word of failure. And very often, People's translation is, it's okay to fail. Well, it's not okay to fail. <laughs> but we know that people who are innovative, who take risk, can fail. That's different. And what is, the, what is important is not the failure itself. It's the ability to learn from the failure. And that's what is a, a, a tremendous difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Because the fixed mindset is going to focus on the failure. I don't want to fail. And if you don't want to fail, for sure stay home. Do nothing. Don't try. Don't test new ideas. Don't be curious about what others are doing to in inspire yourself. Now, if you are not afraid to fail because you know that the failure may happen, but you have your ability to learn from that. And you know one thing, uh, uh, you are never going to do again this failure. We can all uh, 
like create together instead of each person trying to work individually by themselves to come up with an idea. Um, and there's this idea of um, you can be silly and it can be fun. And that's something that I think a lot of places forget. What I'm hearing, you, you, have, you have great stories. You know, when I encourage you to be authentic in the interviews, don't try to apply, you know, the, the right words from the books. Talk about your story. Talk, talk about the things that, you know, uh, challenge you or really change your mind, you know, or, uh, and uh, because the people in front of you, if they don't know design thinking, they are going to be, you are going to challenge their mindset. You know, say, you know, I started, I used to think before design thinking and now I'm thinking. Mm -hmm.